So my roommate has requested that I would, that I open the vlog by saying, <laughs> "Rise up, Jerusalem." That. <laughs> So last week, OK Catholics tagged me on the Catholic Tag Challenge, which means I have to answer 10, count them, 10, ooh, 10 questions about my faith and being Catholic. So let's get right to it because why not? First question, are you a cradle Catholic or did you convert? And if you converted, why? I am super cradle Catholic from womb to tomb. I have, tomb, whoa. From the womb, I've been carrying around a scapular, like literally. It's I don't actually have one on right now. That's sad. But yes, I am a super cradle Catholic. When I was in Boy Scouts, I, my nickname, was a uh, cradle homeboy because I was a cradle Catholic and I was homeschooled. It was weird. I have weird friends. Anyways, question two. What is the biggest misconception non-Catholics have of the Catholic Church? I would say anything that has to do with judging people because one of the biggest issues that I ever, ever, ever hear both inside like the comment section and outside is just that people judge, that like Catholics, we judge everyone. And like, honestly, uh, my boss at work said this best. I don't care if you are black, white, Asian, who you love, um, what religion you are, anything at all. I'm only gonna hate you if you're a jerk. Like, and then I'll love you, but I'm not gonna like you. Like, it's pretty simple. Um, but I think that's one of the most annoying things that people say, oh, you hate me just because I don't like traditional marriage, or I don't pray to Mary, or I don't fast, or anything like that. We don't really care. We're kind of chill. We don't really care if you're going to be doing stuff. We're gonna tell you you're wrong if you ask us, but I don't think we should just say, hey, you're evil because you don't pray the rosary. We, very few Catholics do that, and if you're a Catholic who's doing that, please stop, because that's really annoying and detrimental to people like me who are trying to share the faith correctly. But good job with your efforts. Question three. What are your thoughts on dating marrying someone who isn't Catholic? Well, I am single as heck, so, I don't really have a dating anyone right now, but that is what single means, right? Not dating anyone? Yeah, all right, so we good. So thoughts on dating or marrying someone who isn't Catholic. I know a lot of people who married someone who, who wasn't Catholic and then they converted and like after they converted, they were like baller. So I really need to stop using that word. The whole thing with marriage is you have to look at what marriage is for, right? And so marriage is like raising children of faith and getting your spouse to heaven. And since the Catholic church is the fullness of the faith, it helps if you're both Catholic, but at the same time, it isn't, mm. okay, personally, I wouldn't do it just because personally, but I don't think it's like, oh my gosh, if you do it, you're an evil human being. Because again, I think it's up to everyone's own prerogative. Like if you think that, oh, hey, I like this person, but they're kind of like not super Catholic or not Catholic, as long as you're doing, pursuing the right thing, then I think it's fine. And like, you guys can talk about that. For some people, that's not gonna be as big of an issue, but for some people, it's gonna be huge gonna be huge. Question four. What is your favorite way to pray? I love singing. So honestly, I think my favorite way to pray is singing just because music helps you get so much. I mean, like what? Two of the choirs of angels are just singing God's praises in tradition. And so singing is praying twice. I think St. Michael said that. We're gonna go to St. Michael. Um, Cecilia. St. Cecilia. This is why I have a roommate. To fact check my theology. Fist bump off camera. Trust me, it was there. But yeah, I love praying through um, singing, but I also love doing the Divine Mercy Chaplet, preferably the one in song because I'm a nerd. I don't know, I, let's go with singing. Let's go with singing. Question number five, who is your favorite saint? Oh, too many to choose from. Okay, so I have this thing called Heaven Homies. It's like, once you get to heaven, who you're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go chill and like have a beer and like play poker with. And some of my Heaven Homies are like GP too, because I just want to chill and like smoke cigars and with him and Pierre Giorgio Fassati. And just like chilling, smoking cigars. Although for Saudi, I'll probably smoke a pipe because that was his thing. And yeah, I'll, we'll just sit and we'll like talk about like love and like Jesus and all this awesome stuff. Um, JB2 is probably my number one heaven homie. I also love Maximilian Colby. He's a boss. St. Joseph because he's the best. I mean, he fathered Jesus, so that's pretty cool. Well, didn't father. Let's not get into that theology, please. Um, yeah, let's go JB2 is my heaven homie. Uh, question number six. Were you ever an altar server? 
I was an altar server a year before I got confirmed and then afterwards because we were moving around so much as a military family, it was just hard for me to be an altar server, I guess. I don't really know. It was probably actually because I was such a rowdy child that I would just fidget in the pew and my parents were like, no, if you're fidgeting, you wouldn't be a good altar server. That's probably why I wasn't an altar server for a while. One of the main things I did actually, I served the nine o'clock mass at my church for like every single week for about three years. So I got it down. But I got a great story about altar serving. So like Holy Thursday mass, right? I'm sitting there and it's the end of Holy Thursday Mass, and like we're processing out to bring Jesus to the tabernacle for people to like pray to him all night. And for some reason, somebody cleaned the thurible, which is like the incense thing. And so it was like piping hot. And instead of putting the normal three charcoal, they put five charcoals, like the priest burned his hand. Like that's how hot it was. But the big thing was like, I was carrying the crucifix because I was the tallest person, I think. And when I was doing that, like you're sitting there and he's incensing and like, my head started to get really dizzy and my friends all think that I buckle my knees, but I'm pretty sure I got high off incense. So that's a thing. Um, and like I'm standing there and I managed to time it. Like I get all dizzy and like I was starting to pass out, but somehow I managed to time it. So right as he shut the tabernacle door, I fell. So it looked like I was slain in the spirit. And then I dropped, but all these military guys around me like grabbed the cross because forget about the guy falling to the floor. Nobody cares about that. Grab Jesus. Priorities guys, priorities. Question number seven, what was your confirmation to name? Yeah boy, JP2. Enough said. Number eight, what is your favorite vibe Bible? What is your favorite Bible verse? Um, I would have to say, I got a lot of them. Ah, oh, my favorite is from, mm, let me find it. Okay, so my favorite Bible verse is 1 Kings 19.5. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. All at once, an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. And then 1960s, he looked around and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coals in a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came up a second time and touched him and said, get up and eat for the journey is too much for him. So he got up and ate and drank. Can you get better than that? Fall asleep, eat, fall asleep, eat, fall asleep, eat, go on your journey. Okay, that's not really my favorite Bible. It might actually be, I don't know. Let's, until future notice, we're going to say that that's my favorite Bible verse. Cool? All right, cool. Knuckles. What is your favorite food? Carbs. All of the carbs. Noodles. Nothing on it but a crap ton of salt. And that's all you need in life. Although if I'm being really specific, I would have to say like a nice chicken Alfredo with a really creamy sauce, just, oh baby, that is the best food. Or like maybe some tortellini with like a kielbasa, like the meat, like the Polish meat, like the sausage links, and maybe like an oil vinaigrette sauce. Ooh, mmm. You notice in a theme, I like carbs and meat. I don't eat healthfully. I don't eat vegetables. My friends don't like me because of that, right, Ian? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like Ron Swanson, just like, give me all the bacon and eggs you have, except for I don't really like eggs, so just give me all the bacon. And do you have any bread? Question number 10, what is your favorite song right now? Good gravy, that's a hard question. Spotify playlist, where are you? Please help me. So, Praying by Kesha. That one's a great one, and the music video, like, and everything just, oh, it makes me cry. But I also like Too Good at Goodbyes by Sam Smith just because it's really fun and funky. But, and this is me being a complete dork, I recently fell in love with Best Love Song by T-Pain because that song is just so fun. And he was like, he's just like, Best Love Song in a Life. That was awful. I am so sorry, T-Pain, if you're watching this video. Also, if you're watching this video, do you want to be on a vlog? Hit me up, man. Anyways, guys, that is the Catholic Tag Challenge. Now I have to tag three, three other Catholic YouTubers to do this Catholic Tag Challenge. Catholic Tag. This Catholic Tag. This Catholic tag challenge and I am going to be tagging one super popular person and two kind of noobs to the game So my super popular person is Emily Wilson. I am tagging you get on and answer these 10 questions for me Hit that Catholic tag my second person is Bri or Brie. I think her name is Bergman. She has an awesome channel link in the description below her icon pops up right here um, She's incredible like her videos are get really deep really fast, but they are so good And my third is actually someone who I think has like three subscribers a lot of his videos have no views but he's actually a subscriber of mine and i want you guys to subscribe to cerebral catholic honestly one of the best up-and-coming youtubers who needs a lot of love i remember when i had three subscribers and i was like oh my gosh i got a view wow so go check him out because he's awesome and yeah answer the catholic tag challenge because y'all been tagged that was way more dramatic than it needed to be anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed subscribe like the video, I guess, if you want. If you want somebody to see my ridiculous antics, share it with a friend.
<coughs> voice left away. <laughs> Haven't subscribed, subscribe. New episodes coming out every single Wednesday at 8 a.m. Check right down below to see the last video I did with Swole Catholic because hashtag scrawny swole. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as was in the beginning, is not ever shall be. Rise up and live. Woo!